Okay, welcome all for today's debate. Uh, today's motion is this house believes that uh, video gaming should be included in school syllabuses as a legit subject. So to present the case, I invite uh, the Prime Minister of the government here. here. Okay. Um, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, I'd like to start my speech in three, two, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll start my uh, speech in three, two, one. Good afternoon, adjudicators and members in the house. Today, the motion we are proposing is this house believes that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. So I would like to move to my framework and then move to my arguments. As a proposition, we came with the framework. Um, we, as a proposition, which we are trying to do in this motion is we are trying to reduce the wastage of lots of uh, we are trying to reduce the wastage of money and the wastage of um, children. We are trying to stop the way where children throws books and waste that money. They destroy the 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 reduce of extra uh, accessories to these children and then the reduce of the stress of these children. So we, as the proposition, we are going to do this in a simple way. We are going to, as these children don't need to, we are not going to anyway. We are not going to stop. We are going. We are not going to completely stop books. We are not going to completely um, stop yes, uh, writing sir. or anything. Uh, uh, denied. Uh, we are we as a proposition. We are not going to stop books or anything like that. So uh, we are going to keep. We are going to at least keep a display and a console um, as a lesson, as like we do in these days. Something like that like we do online classes. We are going to keep something like that in these schools. So I would like to move. Um, I would like to move to my arguments. My first argument is helpful in every way. Our second argument is um, helps to reduce the amount of money waste and accessories or books waste. Um, so I'm going to move to my first argument. I'm going to rep uh, I'm going to say this argument in three ways. The first way is helps for this. This helps for children with disorders. The second way is helps for these children helps for education. And our third way is helps and improvement of the creativity. So I would uh, like to move to my first uh, way of I'm going to first analysis. So uh, helps for these disordered children. Now, as we know, there are some children um, who can't walk, who can't, um, who are deaf, who are blind, who can't speak. They have, uh, who have mental disorders. They have problems like that, as we know in this world. So we, these video games is something which is audible, which is visible for these people and which helps these uh, people, uh, which helps these children to have a thing, to have a thinking ability. So, um, so uh, now, you there are some children which can hear but can't see. So video games, there are some games which are helpful for education. Some games like Tetris. Now, uh, in that, uh, science has said that this game helped most of these children's uh, thinking. So like that. Now, there are some games. We are, uh, now see, in video games, there are subtitles also. So children who can see but can't hear, they can at least read the subtitles and at least listen. It's uh, you at least speak denied. They can act. Uh, the now in a way now there's some children who are blind but are not deaf. So those children they don't need to see. They can hear and they can speak. So they can listen to that and they can uh, like communicate with it or not. Uh, they can answer to it. There's some games like that which help them this education. Now for sports, yes, there are some children who can't walk, who can uh, who has a problem in breathing, uh, such as immature children who were born as immature. Yes, Those, uh, denied. I'll get the best when I say so. 
um, these uh, children will have the capability to at least do it in some other way. They will get the image in their eyes and in their head too. These children will not. Uh, this this will reduce the additional stress which uh, these school teachers now in school they give you homework they give you lots of uh, they give you homework they uh, give you other work to study and come this is an additional stress now in the way which we are trying to do is to help them we are this will reduce homework this will reduce the accessories or uh, lots of books textbooks everything the weight and everything you must bring to school this will reduce it this will be major reduce it uh denied i'll tell it in the best way to say so i'm going to move to my next way um uh, now um uh, the uh, which helps for education which is even which means sports too um uh, so as i told before in sports these ch these children will uh, now video games is uh, something like we is something like a normal video with audio thing we do these days during online classes it's something like that which we try to do in school so now in books the way is you must always uh, now you must no, sir. deny it so i did best when i say so you must uh, now in textbooks you get a picture and then you must read now in the in this video games you get the audio you can listen you can even read also and then you uh, you get the additional image which helps is here in the education this would majorly help them uh, this would majorly help them to have an additional creativity to their minds they will get an additional image of it now in a book it's only a picture but in a video game it's an entire video so this is very practical to their minds also um now i would uh, like to move to my uh, next part of analysis uh, helps for this uh, uh uh helps in helpful and uh, improvement in quick uh, help for in creativity so in that uh, video games have been a major thing for these people it helps them in their creativity now see university students they do lots of editing they in their fields they use um, their software engineering app development game developer these games they help them with their uh, it helps them in their creativity um it helps in the do their it helps in the do their courses in universities more easier so we are going to put this as a legit sport in the school syllabus but we are still not going to remove books and everything so i'm going to conclude my speech and my second speaker uh, will uh, elaborate on our second argument thank you thank you for that speech uh, now i would like to invite Uh, the opposition leader to present the case for the opposition here here uh yes sir am i um yes sir hold on um yes sir am i yeah. audible and visible as well yes you are audible ryan others please keep your mics muted thank you oh, oh yes sir wait give me a small second yeah Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. I will start in three, two, one. Uh. Good. Good afternoon, honorable educator, members of Side Pop, and my dear speakers. This house believes that uh, this house believes that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. Now, so then, since we are the opposing team, we will be opposing the topic. Now, so then, since since I am the first speaker, I will not move on to my. You do you what is and it's my argument. So let me let me move on to my first you what is. So this is stated by the first speaker. When the first speaker said that there are children, there are children who can't see and that who can't think and therefore they are very deaf and dumb and that who have mental disorders that when you play video games it really helps you. Okay, my dear speaker. Now, sir, you said that if they can't see, hear, and they have mental disorders. So then, so how can they play video games? Now, so when you play video games, you must have the ability to both see and hear. And so then, therefore, if these children with and this and therefore with and therefore when these children have mental disorders and they cannot do that, sir, how can they really play video games? 
could be explained that then uh, could be explained that and also the antigenic chemical disorder now so think if they can see and have all the okay, stuff why, sir? Uh, pure will be a din and i will take a what am i born thank you um yeah i'll take a button i'll take a button my mom um yeah i think what am i uh yeah let Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, again, as I was saying, now, see, if the children can see and do all the stuff, why can't they engage in books? Books are hundred percent better than uh, books are hundred percent better than these video games. Will therefore make your brain die? And also, then, so let me tell this. Sir. Now, see, now, see, the main reason there are those mental disorders. It's and the reason mental disorder is mostly because when you play too much video games, it will therefore happen to many children that therefore you get blind and therefore it will like literally affect your. a uh, brain therefore i want that you battle now so then uh, since now so let me now move on to my arguments now let me move on my first argument it is the no, it is the pages i said so as i was saying i'll take a what time one now so let me move on to my arguments now so the um, now in my first argument which is the disadvantages of playing uh, of playing uh, or the, the, the disadvantages by playing and uh, by playing video games now so then ladies and gentlemen let me tell you this Now, so then, first of all, wasn't the government all like you know video games are really bad? It therefore affects your health and all. And so, and and so then now they want it to be in the school syllabus. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please explain me this? Now, yeah, could you please explain this? Now, so now, so then, now then, even though, now then, even though you play educational video games, or so then, even though you play violent video games, it has the same things. Now, so then, first, yeah, um, um, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. sir? Um, uh, people be answered. Sir, sir, I was saying that uh, there is a uh, there is some that you come out and you say that um, about violent and educational uh, games. So can you tell us the difference between uh, violent games and educational games? Because you are saying that both are bad. Can you please uh, uh, clarify uh, that? Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, Okay, so thank you for your pure answer. Now, sir, sir, what I'm saying is, sir, now, sir, sir, now, sir, I, now, sir, I understand all about the violent and so then educational parts. So could you please understand and then these, 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 these are still video games. Now, sir, then the now, sir, then therefore you, now, sir, then you get therefore many sick sicknesses, but then by then playing these so-called video games. Now, sir, as an example, you will get headache. You will therefore get nausea. You will therefore get dizziness. You will you will then get skin blisters. And also therefore the main thing obesity. And also then many more. So, so and also then many more. So then the ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask most of the mothers and therefore the teachers, why also then I am trying to engage your children uh, in this. I mean therefore all these harmful ways. And also now let me tell you this. Now so then most of the children play video games at home, and therefore they so therefore they play it at school. Could you please tell me how like therefore really impractical is this? Now so then now so then if you play if you engage in educational. Okay, you will you will learn something or two, but then therefore do you know you are therefore do you know that yeah, these video games are therefore really bad. Uh, people will be denied. I said I bottom will take, and therefore it will affect your brain. You will get all those bad things, and therefore you will get blind. You will then therefore have a you therefore be a child with some mental disorders by uh, playing these games. First of all, why can't the government just uh, engage in books? Is it yeah, books more better than books? That is therefore really helpful. Um, otherwise will be. Denied. As I say, I take a what time I want, and so then therefore books, and so then therefore, and so therefore books will help you, and therefore you get proper brain and all, and if you play the video game, it's like really bad, and it's and so and so therefore, ah yeah yeah, and so then therefore let me read this. Now so then this is stated by the kids health. Um, this is this is stated now for now like for more proof. Now this is stated by the kids health medical experts, and therefore yeah, this is stated yeah. by the WHO. Now so now so then so then now so then so both of them sir. Stated that is then if you if you if you play these games whether it's education or the video I mean whether it's something else it therefore gives the main sicknesses and also then therefore there is a gentleman which will bring on to our solution which I have focused today now let now let me not tell now let me tell our solution now then our solution is to stop children and therefore teens playing uh, uh, therefore stop them playing video games and therefore engage in more physical activities ladies and ladies and ladies and gentlemen now let's say about the W So now, therefore, the W to say that uh, now W say that to, to, to stop kids from therefore playing this and then therefore engage in more physical activity since therefore you get many benefits and all and therefore it's really good for your body. Which will then therefore break my second argument, which then will be the and will therefore will, will, will be the difference between the video games and therefore sports. 
ladies and ladies and gentlemen let me first go and define what the meaning of uh, what the meaning of sports now in the now in the definition of sport is is that it's an that therefore it is stated by the and therefore it is stated by the Cambridge University and therefore the Oxford Dictionary now so it's stated that it is an activity involving physical exertion and therefore requires energy to um therefore it requires energy to engage in it and then therefore you will therefore uh, therefore you will get many benefits as skill and therefore exercise and therefore let me tell you the meaning of yeah, video, video games uh, uh people will be denied I'll take a what time I want. Now then video games are games that are played virtually without moving in any place. Ladies and uh, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me do this. Now so then think of the government, uh, think of the government, therefore, you know, let's this happen. Now so then first of all, now now so then on one side, you are therefore doing sports and therefore you are doing everything and you do you do this good exercises. But so then on the person on the other side, you are playing video games, which therefore, which therefore you will be eating more, more food, and therefore you get more fatter. What is the what is the advantage that you get? Now, first of all, the government never really never really explain, but then therefore they just therefore it definitely helps mental disorders. First of all, the reason is children get mental disorders, it's it's mainly engaged in these type of video games. But yeah, and therefore, and therefore engaged in these type of video games. Now then let me now then let me tell you why and how sports is really good. Um yeah. Um, 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 um yeah, um uh, yeah, now then in sports therefore helps in TV and never since time come a barrier. I want to conclude my speech. Thank you. All right, thank you for that speech uh, for opposition leader. Now I would like to invite uh, the Deputy Prime Minister to present the case for the government. So is it okay here, if here. I asked you a question because it's my first time doing kind of a debate like this? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so, sir, I have to repeat what my speaker said, right? My first speaker and I can rebut, right? You can rebut what the opposition leader said. And uh, don't necessarily repeat what your teammate said. You have to further explain and further establish what he already said. Like you all can already. Can I like bring up. like uh, like uh, like? Is it like a sum up? Is it like a sum up yes. of the two no, no, no. arguments? Basically, sum up is basically repeating what you said, right? Here you are not supposed to repeat. You are supposed to further elaborate what your first speaker said. Understood. The two arguments, like both sides already have established two arguments for each side. Now the second speakers have to further establish those two arguments and rebut what the other team said. Okay. Uh, just for those... clarification, uh, the government went with only one argument, right? Government flagged two arguments. They only explained one. So yeah. Ken can explain the other one. Okay. Yes, and uh, the closing people, you guys now you you know that what are the two arguments brought up by uh, the opening sides. Now think you can think of a third argument and you can think how to further elaborate uh, the two arguments brought up by the opening sides as well. Okay. Uh, so All right. Thing, sir. Uh, I have one more thing. Uh, so uh, like uh, uh, I would rather peers to be asked by disturbing me. And uh, so, can I like bring like one or two new points? Is it okay? You can bring new points, but in relevance to whatever the arguments you already said. In relevant to what uh, you answered, I have, I want to like bring one or two, uh, one or two uh, new points. Can I bring it? Is it relevant? Can I like? Is it okay? But you don't. You won't get marks because you won't have enough time to talk about completely new stuff. Right. Just only for just in a bottle also. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So another thing, sir. Yes. So I wanted to clarify whether the sec the the opening government and closing government second speaker whether they can tell an argument. Open oh, second. You can you can bring in a new argument. It's pointless doing that because you don't have time to establish that. Your okay. job. Okay. To make sure that the two arguments brought up by your captain, your your first speaker, stays. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Otherwise, are calling the calling you arguments with uh, you haven't properly established, and you have brought some new arguments. They are also not properly established, and you don't get marks for any of the arguments. Okay.
So two arguments are enough for the for the opening side. Make sure the two arguments are properly established. Right. Okay. Let's hear the speech from the deputy prime minister. Here, here. Am I? I believe I'm audible and visible. Yes, you are. So I'll be starting in three, two, one. Good evening to uh, good afternoon to all. Prior permission from honorable educators, opposing team members, and my fellow team members. The topic at hand is: This has believed that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. Okay, so first of all, we, as the government came out with uh, argument, and I would, uh, I would first move on to my rebuttals, and then I would move on my argument. Uh, I'll revise what my speaker said, and then to my argument. So to my first rebuttal. Uh, the first speaker of the opposition, uh, the opposition leader comes out and he says, says that the people we said that people who can't see and we gave a solution for it. And he comes on trying to rebut us, saying that the people who can't see and the people uh, they can't hear and all that they can't uh, play a video game. So honorable speaker, I would like to state this again. We stated that the people who can't see. There are things that um, we we also told many examples. We said that in games that have like building building things, they give descriptions. They and the people they repeat that, so they they can hear this and they also can learn this, right, sir? And not just that. And um, we said the people who can't talk, um, who can't talk but can see, they can play this. They can hear. They can't uh, talk, but they can. Uh, See what's happening. So we we gave many examples for it, and still they deny what we are saying. We said that they can hear what they are saying, and they can answer these denied, sir. And we come out and we say that, um, and we said that this will, uh, uh, and not just that. I would also like to point out one example. Um, what about the children who can't read, who doesn't have proper, uh. Who can't speak properly? Even by these these descriptions, by them reading these, they will learn a lot. And like we said, they still rebut us. But we gave a framework, a uh, saying that we're not going to start stop books. We're still going to continue books, and they still say that we are going to uh, we're only going to have video games. And he says that he it's going to affect your denied sir. Denied sir, please do not ask continuously. It's going to affect our brain by playing video games. I believe that's only if you play over and over again. But sir, this is only if you want to add it into a school syllabus. And you be, I believe in schools. Only a subject is only held for for. It's only held for forty five minutes. So. So a video game that we are also going to be doing is only for forty five minutes. And they are going to have different periods that they are going to have in the class, and they are going to have in a game, uh, in a game, in a what they are going to play uh, in a game. And uh, denied, sir. He comes out and he says about uh, violent and educational games. He asked the PI, but he didn't properly explain it to it. He didn't properly cl clarify it. I hope his second speaker does it for us, so we can understand what his speaker was saying, because their argument was false. Then he comes out and he says that um, he comes out and he says about again about violent educational thing. Sir, we are not going to bring violent games into this. This is the school. Our first, my first speaker said that we are going to bring educational games. I would like to repeat what my first speaker gave. He he broke it down into three parts and he said it to you. This will be helpful for the education children with this. This will help for the children who with this sort of. Right, sir, and uh, not just that, and the games that they would play is only the games that they do in school, so that they will learn more skill, and not just then. Um, and tell me this, honorable speakers, how can the people who can't, um, how can the people who can't walk or do something productive, how can they do sports? You ought to think about the people who are right, disabled. We had more facts and figures about. We came for a solution, but still, and now, uh, denied sir, I would still like to say about the games they would play. For an example, take soccer. We will only encourage the people who play soccer. We will only encourage them to play games like this. 
and children were interested in playing video games, uh, a sport like a car game or something. What they can't do, what they can't walk, what they can't handle with themselves. We are only going to let them play this kind of video game. So we came by saying that we won't let violent things happen. And um, in a school, uh, they don't give you violent things to. Uh, uh, they won't let violent things to happen in school. They won't let you play something violent. No? They, will they let you play wrestling in school? So completely they have misunderstood the topic. Now I would like to move on to our uh, second argument for today, which would be reduce of wastage of books or any other school accessories. So moving on to into this argument, and I believe that we have one of our rebuttals clearly, and I've explained it clearly. Uh, Reduce of wastage of books and all. So you know in school that children they destroy books. They tear these books into pieces. They write on the books and they destroy these things. What are accessories? These are things that like, uh, for example, take pencil holders. Children they break these down and this will reduce. And if we have something like this, you believe that in IT classes we have a. a we have uh, uh, we have laptops and children they maintain this because they know that if they break it they will have to uh, buy a new one like this because and we are trying to say that if we bring things like this this also will be helpful for them uh, and this will be helpful for the school and the facilities will be much and the school won't be having to pay uh, things on the children so we as the government have brought on many solutions and now I would like to bring out again what my uh and we can save money for the children yes. too the school is providing this and uh and the, if we bring accessories children they damage this stuff they damage honorable speak honorable chair we have found many solutions we want many examples and still and still the opposition is denying it us so now i would like to move on again to my my first speaker said he bought three he broke it down to three both children's disorders that they can't play, uh, they can't do. So this will help them. Then we bought about helpful for the education. Still they come and they rebut us, but it, it was not we fall. Then we say that this will help for the improvement of creativity about university students. Still they uh, de uh, denied it us. Now, since uh, now I would like to say one more thing. Thus, I believe that the honorable speaker, honorable chair, should side with us and now i would like to conclude my speech thank you yeah, thank you for that speech uh deputy prime minister i would like to invite the deputy opposition leader to further proceed here here uh, am i audible as well as visible yes you are i'll be starting in three two what? Good afternoon, Honorable. Time has not started. It's three, two, one. Good afternoon, Honorable Adjudicators, members of the government, and my dear team. So, moving on, let me first start with my rebuttals. Uh, the government first speaker could not mention what the games they will allow to play. They what they will allow to play. They only just said we will only allow. We will we will just uh, allow games and all of that. They couldn't mention the games, what they will play. Except the second speaker, he went and told only educational games and sports games, which is completely unvalid and which is completely unvalid because the first speaker's framework should have been on the games, what he should have played. So clearly it's unvalid. So first of all, first of all, the government is letting us play GTA 5, Call of Duty, and all etc. games because they because the first speaker couldn't define what the what games they will uh, what games they are uh, giving. So clearly the government does not clearly the government is giving such an impractical and un, un, unethical uh, motion just because they don't want to side with us. So moving on to my deny sir take my peers after I finish my rebuttal. Uh, moving on to my second rebuttal. The government uh, the speaker. Could not mention at all. Could not mention how many, how many minutes or hours you let a child play. Let a child play. They could not mention. And only the second speaker came and told it's it's only for forty five minutes. 
I'll get on to the rebuttal after I finish my. Uh, I get on to my that rebuttal after I finish this. So first of all, the government first speaker came out and told told that uh, you can only create uh, these games, but he could not tell that how many game, how many hours and uh, how many hours you a child will be able to play. He so even we can even play even three hours and four hours. So clearly, ladies and gentlemen, you can see how the government is being very null. And bringing such an impractical and unethical motion, so clearly I have rebutted that point also. And again, the government first speaker, he said that you uh, people uh, can't walk, who has mental distress, and uh, etc. Like people who are blind and all of that, uh, can't can't do sports, but they can play video games. How impractical! First of all, a person who can't walk. Can always play a sport. What about chess and carrom? No, I also denied. I told you I take my PYs after I finish my debates. First of all, can't uh, why y'all are not y'all are only taking sports which you have to run and all of that. What about sports which are such as carrom, uh, chess, and uh, etc. Sports where you don't have to you don't have to run and do anything, but then help you, but you don't have to run or do anything. You can just sit and you can just uh, think with your brain and do it. In video games, first of all, video games doesn't even create a good, doesn't even create as a good mental this, mental uh, this thing. But in chess and carrom, it creates as a good mental this thing to mental this thing. Our brain, the ex, our brain will function more and more when you play these sports. But in video games, it doesn't. It only gets more and more worse. According to P, uh, according to health ministries. According to health ministries, let me bring this. According to health ministries, people tell even people health ministries, people, uh, the honourable people, health ministries, they say that not to even play games. First of all, they are saying not to even play games. So now the government and the government is coming and telling, let's play games due at our house and at our at school also. When the health was, oh, I am trying to disagree with the health ministry. When they are saying not to even play games, not to even play games at all, they are against this. Clearly, you all don't understand this. And moving on, first of all, and then they talked about mental distress. First of all, how even if you have mental distress, yes, you can't play sports, but even you can't play games also because you have to think and do all of that. How can you say? And how and you all are telling that uh, we'll all, we'll only give sports games and sports games and uh, education again. First of all, do you know that in cricket, eighty five percent percentage is a mental game? And how are you all telling that even in games, even in games you have to check what's the field and all of that, and you have to just try and trick him and do all of that. But the government so then you can't play games because you need a certain amount of thinking. So how are you saying that uh, that mental people, may, I mean, un, un uh, normal people, cannot play beer, cannot play sports, but can play video games? How impractical is this? So, ladies and gentlemen, yes, uh, moving on to my fourth one. Okay. The second speaker was telling that uh, a period, uh, like a period, is only forty-five minutes, and we will let only a video game take him forty-five minutes. First of all, we are not talking about in school hours. Video games are not going to be played in school hours. The motion is about sports in sports activity. So sports activities happen after school hours. Clearly, you all don't understand this. So sports activities normally go till two or three hours. So you all are letting a child play video games for two or three hours. Clearly, you all don't know what you are doing. This thing. Tonight, sir, I'll take my PUIs after I finish my rebuttal. So you all are telling that. You all are telling, uh, you all are only talking like that. Uh, sports are for two or three hours. Clearly, yes, sir. Tell the PUI. PUI, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, you are saying that uh, uh, this uh, the motion is that we are misunderstanding the motion that we are saying about that uh, the we are not going to uh, add to the school syllabus. It's only going to be a sport. Sir, but can you read the motion again? It says in this one, believe that video games should be included in school syllabus. So, sir, you are saying something else. You are only going on the topic, not us. Can you please yeah, tell? I'll, I'll that I'll, yes, I'll read the motion. Video games should be included in 
in in yes in school syllabus as a legit sport a legit sport in school syllabus as a legit sport it says a legit sport so it doesn't say in school syllabus it says as a legit sport it yes it should be included in in the school syllabus as a legit sport so you should do it as a sport uh, you should do it as extra curricular activity so i believe i have answered that poi so yeah so moving on uh, since time is a barrier yeah so moving on to my uh, argument my which my first speaker and, uh, first speaker mentioned my first speaker gave a lot more depth so let me give a lot more depth in the first argument and he couldn't finish the second argument so let me bring on to the second argument so moving on the first speaker we uh, my uh, my this thing gave a lot uh, we gave a lot of uh, this thing bring more depth it helps us to get more teamwork gets problem solving leadership qualities and uh, reduction of fail and except, and it accepts us to win uh, without with a loser without with a uh, it helps us to uh, accept loss does games does does games do that no right they don't so how are you saying that the games there is a difference between sports and games so i believe uh, because time is a barrier i'll uh, conclude my speech Thank right uh i would like to invite uh the member of the government to further propose the government's case yeah yeah you are not audible jishnu Jishnu, you are not audible. If you are speaking, hello, am I audible now? Yes, now you are audible. Hello. He is not. I don't think he is working. Ryan, can you check the message that I send you? Ryan. Okay. Okay. Jishnu, is he disconnected? Yes, sir. Hello, am I audible now? Yes, you are. Okay, uh, just give me a second. Am I visible as well? Yes. Okay. Um. So, I'll be starting in three, two, one. So, good afternoon, honourable adjudicators and members of the house. So, the motion at hand for today is: This house believes that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. So, throughout the opposition's arguments, we can understand that they're only trying to come up with one thing. and that is our video games good or bad but we are not trying to discuss that here um i'll like to further elaborate that with my rebuttals so my first rebuttal is that they come up and present their first argument saying disadvantages of playing video games they tell us that the world health organization has 
said that whether it's an educational game or not, it's bad for you. They have lacked one key thing throughout their debate. That is a timeline. They never stated what timeline is bad for you. They just stated it is bad for you and this is, this is why you should not play. It is certainly only bad for you if it were played for over an extent of a time. And this has not been stated throughout the first two speeches. They tell us that um, we did not state which sort of games would be included. But from, uh, uh, from what I recall, we clearly stated that we would only include educational games. And this is a school's right, educational system. Not a gaming center or something else that would include all sorts of games. These games are properly authorized and properly right, registered sir. as proper games for students. So that's why we are including this as, as sport. And this has been stated throughout our framework as well. So moving on to my next argument, uh, rebuttal. Um, he tells, uh, the second speaker of side opposition comes up and tells us that video games create a mental thing. Sir, can I ask you what is this mental thing? You keep on saying it creates a mental thing, mental thing, mental thing. Sir, but what is it? You keep on telling that over and over again. But it has not been defined by you at all. Um, and yes, I would sir. like to take that POI now. Yes, yeah. sir. So you were talking that uh, that uh, they, you already talk, tell about those uh, educational games and all of that. Sir, first of all, did the government even have a prop? Did the government even have a framework, first of all? Can I know that? Sir, you keep on blaming our framework. You tell us that uh, we didn't bring out this. But we clearly brought out this educational system would... Educational system games would only have games that have a proper purpose, not violent games, not games that promote un unproper behavior, but only proper educational games. And also, you just reminded me, sir, may I ask you, what was your solution? So are you saying that we should completely um, ban video games and not uh, do that, even though they have plenty of, plenty, uh, denied, sir, they have plenty of good uh, qualities they would give us and uh, do you state that we should get rid of video games at all is that what you're saying your solution was not clearly defined and you just said a solution you just said solution, right, and then you moved on so uh, Alex um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, now, 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 sir, so you said our solution was to like ban video games for life, and you went on saying some things which is which so I didn't understand. But also, so you must understand that the first speaker said that so then the that so then the solution was to uh, the data solution was to go and decrease the, uh, to decrease to play video games and to there and, so, and so then to therefore uh, and so therefore uh, to and therefore engage in sports. Could you please? Uh, uh, I would that, okay. I would like to thank you for that for that POI. Uh, so you keep on saying that you would decrease the amount of video games. But throughout our debate, haven't we made it clear that playing video games at homes are very expensive, having their personal PCs for that. But in a school, when they have, can interact and they can like control the amount that they play and where they can get the proper sort of games they should play, isn't that reducing the bad effects of video games? And isn't our whole debate based on that? Unlike what you are saying, so how do you reduce the uh, amount, uh, effect of video games? You say that you are going to reduce, but how is that? Uh, we clearly did not understand that. So coming to my argument, the third argument of the government would be increasing student productivity through control. So what is this productivity? The, so productivity is the quality of being effective and contributing in some way in the way, uh, field of education or any other field. So. As you know, in this 21st century, video game is something you could not take away. It's impossible to take away, uh, you may say. So what can we do? What is another way to like may reduce the bad effects, reduce the damage that is causing, causing on our society? That is to include it in the syllabus and to teach students that video games should be played, but only to an extent where it is good for you. So that's why yeah, we are sure. stating that... Uh, uh, productivity through control is better than what you are uh, clearly not failing to see. So, um, I'll, I'll like to give an example regarding that. Um, have you heard of the sports fencing? Uh, many people may say that it's bad for you. 
since it includes kind of sword fighting, it's bad for your health. It it doesn't apply. It's not good. It's like the olden times where people used to fight. But still, it's a very very um, popular sport nowadays. And why is that? Because even though people say it is not a good game through control and through practice, people have known and researched to improve their eye hand coordination, their analytical thinking skills, and all of those. And that is why this could apply to video games as well if we include it in the education syllabus as well. So um, I would uh, like to further explain my argument uh, by saying that the uh, opposition comes up and tells us that video games are, are we said that we didn't give a proper timeline, we didn't, uh, we didn't say this, we didn't say that, and they tell us sport activities go on for until two or three hours. Sir, did you know that you can't play chess for two or three hours? It is proved to be bad for you if you keep on playing chess for two or three hours. So, uh, do you think that people play chess for two or three hours? Sir, each and every sport is unique. Sir, each and every sport has its own specific timeline. And you can't just say that sports have two or three hours. And that is why you shouldn't play video games. Sir, we as a government say that sport, uh, this video game as a sport would only have 45 minutes. And we have clearly uh, backed that up with facts and figures. Unlike you... Uh, without a proper solution, you have lacked a proper solution and uh, lacked a proper framework as well. And that is why I asked this house to side with us. Thank you. Thank you for that speech, member of the government. I would like to invite the member of opposition to further, propose the, uh, for, further oppose the case for the opposition. Thank you. Here, here. Am I usable as well as audible? Yes, you are. Uh, give me a moment. Mm. Okay. Okay. I will start in three, two, one. Good afternoon, honorable adjudicators, honorable propos proposing team, and my dear uh, members. Today we will be opposing the motion. This house believes that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. So, uh, first of all, let me start with my rebuttals. Uh, the government was always blaming us, saying that we didn't have a proper solution, and uh, we were like we we didn't have a proper solution. And then uh, the government we tried to show them that we did in a PUI two and in one whole speech, but the the learned proposition didn't want to understand, didn't want to listen to that and uh, make a proper uh, argue, I mean, uh, make a proper rebuttal and uh, tell it out. They never made it. And uh, yeah, PI, sir. The, they were telling that, uh, denied sir, I will take PIs when I say so. They were telling we didn't have a, uh, we didn't have an argument, but Y'all didn't only have a proper, uh, sorry, we didn't have a proper solution, but your, uh, the proposition only didn't have a proper solution. They were telling that uh, we are going to put uh, educational games and stuff. I will, I will further uh, elaborate in that in my, in another rebuttal. And uh, y'all were telling y'all told a good solution and stuff, but no, sir, you never told a solution for misusing. There is a thing called misusing, sir. Now, you give a device to a child, uh, any, like, you, you're told that uh, video games, uh, video games is, PI, is impossible to uh, uh, prevent in the 20th century. Denied, sir. I will take PIs when I say so. Uh, yeah, you told that, sir. So then, when you give them educational games, don't you understand that this these device uh, this the children uh, will will be tempted to try out other games out of these devices you told not not everybody is uh, 
capable of buying devices to play uh, right, video game you need so i told i will clearly i clearly told that i will take pois when i say so so please don't ask pois yeah so uh, uh you all will these children can download different games and stuff and uh, do uh, do whatever they want and so uh, which is which is happening at the moment in mm. most of the schools so if, for example you can take our school like there are like there, there are children who have been tempted to download the phone to the laptops in the it period yeah so moving on to a second uh, rebuttal blind people playing video games uh, basically uh, let's say uh, uh, not blind people we can say people uh, who are undergrown or something yeah so uh, the government is telling that uh, they can play video games they can play educational games and stuff yeah so uh, sir if you take a blind person you give them to uh, you uh, give them this game some game on the alphabet he has a b c d but he doesn't know how to write it now if you if you give uh, if you uh, keep a, a racing game or something near him yeah i can hear a car going but i don't know which what is the car even what's the use of it if you keep a uh, like a shooting game near i can hear somebody shooting but i don't know what he is shooting at <laughs> that doesn't make sense you all can and you they can't play sir you clearly told that they are blind they are undergrown and they do, they don't have the ability so basically somebody else is playing for them that's more like you do that doesn't make sense sir and uh, yeah as i told in my uh, uh, rebuttal that they br- the government brought out a flawed uh, uh, point of analysis saying that they all are going to be educational games sir in the motion it's clearly told that in the uh, this is going to be in the school syllabus yes we accept that but going to be a legit sport it's going to be taken as a sport so you as the government are trying to press- give a lot of pressure to these children you come out and say that we are going to give educational games you teach the children for 6 6 or 6 six and a half hours in school and you come out and say you are going to give an educational game no i saw which word are you living in sir be uh, have some kind of human yeah pi will be accepted Yes, sir, you are saying that we didn't come up with the proper solution. You all came up with the proper solution. So, sir, can you tell us what your solution was? Can you tell us in an exact sentence? Then you are saying that you all said this and that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let me tell you. The our first speaker came out and told that we are going to uh, reduce. Uh, we are we are going to give books and stuff rather than giving uh, electronic devices to. Uh, rather than giving electronic devices to a uh, for educational purposes i don't know what which the mo- which y'all came out and told but we never told educational purposes we told that we we will uh, we will give books rather than uh, electronic devices so coming on to the my argument health risks yeah so uh, since uh, time is picking up i would like to go quickly uh, i would like to uh, break my argument into three main points of analysis addiction computer vision syndrome and obesity first of all addiction many people suffer from this because as you as the government told video games is impossible to uh, stop in the 20th century and many people suffer from addiction many people so uh, and you all come out and say we should make this a legit sport are they going to be addicted or like addict addicted i don't know i don't know what you all are going to say and coming on to my second point of analysis computer vision syndrome many people have this is a very uh, common thing among the people 
computer vision syndrome let me uh, since my time is ticking up i'll quickly tell this uh, computer vision syndrome is like uh, it's like when you are looking at the uh, blue screen and stuff you get uh, the headache and stuff so yeah since my time is over i would like to conclude and uh, i would like to uh, just to side with us thank you thank you for that speak member of the opposition i would like to invite the government we to conclude the case for the government please. can i have a, a me please okay Am I visible as well as audible? You are audible. You are not visible yet. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. So I'll be starting in three, two, one. Oh, so good afternoon, honourable adjudicators and members of the house. So the motion at hand for today is: This house believes that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport. So as a third as a third uh, speaker, I would like to do my duty by uh, delivering rebuttals and clash point analysis. So my first rebuttal, uh, I would like to rebut their first arguments first of all. So their first argument was disadvantages of playing video games. In that they state that. uh how video games is very bad for you how it brings out mental disorders all of those and they tell us that uh, uh give us an example of who how it states that whether it is an educational game or not it brings out mental disorders but they clearly lack one thing as we stated again and again a timeline and that is very important and that has not been uh, what we said has not Been uh, argued with uh, till now has not been rebutted, so that point has clearly stood throughout this debate, and so their first argument has automatically fallen. Um, in the uh, after that, they come up and tell us that uh, we would bring out violent games and promote those, and that would uh, uh, give children bad habits, bad, um, bad, um, or those bad sort of stuff. but we clearly stated that this is a school system and not some sort of a gaming center which would promote bad type of stuff this is a school system and every one of each and every one of those games would be properly uh, properly authorized and properly investigated before they would uh, deliver it to the public to the school system now moving on to the second speaker of side up he said that um we didn't properly say how we would uh, uh how we would um control people control all of these um people from using it in a bad way so if you want a proper um um uh, proper understanding of that i would uh, surely like to define that for you so as you all know um uh, in a computer in a normal computer the ones you use daily all of the time you could uh uh download what we want but in a school's computer in a school's account it is not easy enough it's not something that you do at house at your own home it is not easy to just download something just play it whenever you want whenever you want you can't download it like that you need the school's authorization its password and the relevant teacher's fingerprint so all of those come into place here and what you said was just said without any facts and figures um so it clearly does not stand through in this debate now coming to another one of my rebuttals accepting win or loss so in a regular day to day sport accepting win or loss is something uh, if you don't have the capacity to accept the loss it would make make a big negativity on you but in video games you could grow and learn slowly where nobody would judge you like the outside world where nobody would um, 
tell you um, that you are being wrong, but, but you would have the chance to slowly change and get the, get the capacity to uh, make failures and slowly turn them into success. So I have clearly won that rebuttal. Now, moving on. One thing that I saw throughout this debate was the solution. They come up and tell us that they would reduce video games. But sir, um, we kept on asking, how would you reduce video games? And how would reduce video games be relevant to the topic first hand? How, how is it relevant to the topic? Okay, you would reduce video games. But how and how is it relevant to the topic? That has not been answered. And the solution has clearly been flawed and there's a major loophole. So coming to another one of my rebuttals, they tell us that um, blind, the thing about people with mental disorders, people with lame legs, all of those. So he, we stated that people who don't have legs can at least use their hands, the other sensors to play a video game, to do something that they did not have the chance to do. So isn't that something that is very appreciable and that is needed to give them the nuts they need to come out in the top? And if we just push them aside all the time, what will they do? Do you have a solution for these people um, who have nothing to do, who have been pushed aside in the educational system? What will you do to condole them? What will you do to them? Will they just be left out or will they have something like this sport, this legit sport that gives them a chance to do something as well? So now if there are any POIs, I would like to take them. Okay, so since there are no POIs, I'd like to move on. One more thing the third speaker tells us is pressure. He tells us that you would put a lot of pressure on people. How would we put a pressure, lot of pressure, sir? The whole of the opposition has lacked this question. How? How would we put pressure? We, If you just say we would put pressure on them just by making it a sport, sir, we are not forcing anyone to play. Sir. This is a sport, sir. And this is also included in the syllabus so that it's a legit sport. So the sport does not put pressure on anyone, as you clearly can see. And I hope the adjudicator sees this as well. And uh, uh, I'd like to move on to my clash point now. So one of the clash points I saw throughout this debate is the motion itself. So are video games good or bad? That's what the option has understood through the motion. But we as the proposition have not done that. We have stated why should... Uh, video games be included in the education system and they have only stated why it's bad but why not it uh, should be included in the education system so they have clearly lacked a proper sort of analogy and a proper framework as well another one of the key words that has been uh, mis misinterpreted by the opposition is this word sport so they come up and tell us that sport is a physical or mental activity uh, sorry, a physical activity that is, um, that uh, uh, they say that a physical activity helps students to, um, uh, a physical activity that helps students to make qualities. But sir, really sport is defined as an individual or team game with gross qualities, not some sort of physical game. A sport is not just a physical game, but also can be another type of game. It can be chess. Do you think chess is a physical game? No. So, and and by the way, chess is also authorized as a, a sport itself. So, your definition has also fallen in this debate. So, uh, at, at the clash point, the clash point, the, the way they argue throughout this debate has been flawed and that's why we have clearly won this debate. And I hope the adjudicator sides with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that speech, uh, Gam and Vip. Now we've reached the end of this debate. I uh, would like to invite the opposition, Vip, to conclude the case for the opposition. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay, let me start. Three, two, one start honorable adjudicator and all presented in the house a very good evening to all of you so let me start my speech by with the, with the rebuttals 
So the first so the first one of the main point which the government brought was that uh, video game saves money. How can video games save save money? Because we talked about physical games and ready books and everything, right? So physical games has a very small cost, right? Just to buy the basic equipment, it just have a very small cost. But quality video games should be purchased, should be highly paid and purchased. So how does it? So it cost a very large amount of money. So how does it save money? I don't know why. I don't understand that why the government is saying this. They co they can't even at least understand this small thing. I don't know what a senseless thing is it. And so, so it's very clear that we rebutted this main point, which is re which. So it's very clear that we rebutted this main point. And the second rebuttal is that students, uh, the oh, government that? came on and said that I'll take the rebuttals finally. No, I'll take the students will get a limited time. The government said that students will get a limited time for video games. But they didn't know that it will it will addict the students for video games. So even once they come home, they will try to play video games because they have because they are addicted for it. Uh, they will come and play ho play video games at home without without knowing the limit. And this will destroy the complete life of a student. A school isn't a place which destroys the future of yeah, students. So I'll take it once I finish. So video games shouldn't be included in school. Then the government talked about. Video game. Uh, uh, then the government talked talk that talk that video games increases the creativity of the students, ladies and gentlemen. Rather than playing playing video games, why can't we create video games? Why can't we make the students to create video games? That that increases the creativity in a more way, right? The, so the government said that it increases the creativity. Playing video games increases the creativity, and we are suggesting that. Creating video games increases the uh, increases the creativity. Comparing with that in a more way, so we actually we would so we actually yeah, rebutted that point also. Uh, yeah. This uh, this was stated by your second speaker. So you he he comes on with the buttons by saying that uh, uh, that why without playing video games why can't they play chess and all. So the game is about them doing something according to their syllabus, and it's a least it's fault. So it means that y'all have clashed your points. So can you please explain that further to us? Yeah. So playing chess also chess increases the creativity of a student. So it's very important of playing chess and everything rather than playing video games. Video games make makes you makes you to get addicted, and you get many many when you look at the computer for a long time, you get many eyesight problems and everything. But just increase your creativity and everything okay and the scare, scariest thing is that the violence in games and how it affects the children children who play more more video games are more likely to have increased aggressive thoughts feelings and behaviors and decreased processual behavior also yeah, in many video games uh, once i finish this point i'll come up with it also in many video games kids are rewarded for being more violent right when they get when they be more violent they will be more rewarded so what's this is this something should be which should be implemented in school? Also, the players can leave the emotional effects of the game behind for someone else when the game is over. Hey, and sir? also, playing video games too much makes the kids isolated, and they might spend less time in schoolwork, homework, reading, and etc. And the main thing is that games, video games, confuse the reality and fantasy. They would look the whole world like. In the in in the video games view, right? They might see like everything are like gaming and everything in the whole world. So they don't understand the reality. They would like every time stay in that world and yeah, they see the world completely different way. Yeah. Yes, sir. So um, you stated, yes, yeah, sir. So you stated that video games uh bring out addiction, and it was your one of your arguments as well. But sir, uh, do you have any facts and figures? That a uh, unviolent, nonviolent educational game brings out addiction. Yeah. So even even though uh, even making video, even playing video games, it slightly at least uh, brings brings addiction. And let me go ahead. Children will also get health issues like obesity, muscular uh, muscular issues, and skeletal disorders such as carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a very scary issue. And as my as my previous speaker spoke about carpal uh, about computer vision syndrome, 
that also affects the eyes in a bad way. And kids playing video games often may exhibit exhibit impulsive behavior and have attention problems and everything. Right, because they are addicted for the video games, it's very hard for them to focus in something. Even when they go for their school, it's very hard for them to focus on their schoolwork and the teaching stuffs and everything. And also, a school is a place which which teaches the importance of health and try to make healthy, educated, disciplined citizens. But if the school itself appreciate and and prior prioritize video games, students will cause many health issues. Also, students will see the entire world in a different view. And misunderstand the reality yeah, is fantasy, sir. and this will will break the aim of a school by making students unhealthy and un, and indisciplined characters. So, so we can finally come for a conclusion that the benefits a student get from video games are very less comparing with the disadvantages a, stu a student get from video games. So, at least does video games make a person a balanced character? No, because it many physical problems. So. How can you say that it creates a balanced character? But we, as the opposition, suggested that students should play physical games, physical games, read books, and, and etc. instead of video games. And students learn many things from physical games, which helps them to make them a balanced character. So video games shouldn't be included in school syllabus. And now let me come to the clash points. So the first clash point is reducing the money versus redu uh, reducing the money. Okay, so the government came up and say, said about something reducing the money and it's everything. So how can video, as I said before, how can video games have very high, high money to get a quality video game? We need to pay a high amount and purchase it. So, so it doesn't reduce the money, but according to our system, it actually reduces the money. So this because only a small cost goes to buy the equipments and everything for uh, physical games. So we win this clash point also. And also the second clash point is that health risk, I let me go a bit faster because the time is going. Health risk versus health conscious ways. Uh, and the third clash point is that increases the education level versus confu versus confusion the reality versus confusing the reality and fantasy. Right? So the government came up and said about something that it uh, that playing physical games, uh, no playing uh, video games increases the education level. And I and we very clearly proved that it's wrong. But we, as the opposition, and we we say we also we very clearly prove that con it confuses the reality and fantasy very clearly. So we win this clash point also. And the final thing, is, uh, final clash point is that it creates a, an balanced character versus imbalanced character, right? According to our system, it creates a balanced character, and we showed it very clearly. But according to the government system, it creates an imbalanced character. So that's not a that's not why a school should be there. And also, we, as the opposition, very clearly proved that video games shouldn't be included in school syllabus with enough proofs. But the government was trying to uh, trying to say that video games should be included in school syllabus as a legit sport, but they couldn't at least prove it properly. We rebutted all the main points brought by the government, but the government failed to rebut us with valid arguments. We also won the clash points too. So I would like to finally conclude by saying that we won this debate. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, opposition whip. Uh, now, guys, here's the thing. Uh, just give me one minute. I am not just going to give uh, do the like in a normal debate. I would be just um, taking some time and coming back to you all with the verdict. But since you guys sort of need to uh, learn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, adjudicating part, like the scoring part, in front of you. Okay, so you guys will see how the scoring works. Just give me, just give me one minute. I will just uh, get my paper straight. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back up. Let's start opening government, opening opposition, closing government, and closing opposition. Right. So starting off with this now, this is not going to be just a judge edging session. I will be giving you guys some uh, pointers as well as your coach. Okay, first things first, I feel like uh, for the opening government, Caden should have gone first. Okay, because Caden started off, he spoke for a little while and then he went to go when I started the recording. Because Caden uh, started off with a definition. 
And when Yevan started, he didn't really go ahead with the definition. So you all were penalized for not having a definition. As the Prime Minister, Yevan lacked a definition and Kaden had one. Right? So perhaps Kaden would have gone uh, as the uh, first speaker, right? And so because of that, for the definition, you all didn't get the two points that you all were supposed to get. Uh, and uh, the framework, of course, Yevan, I understood that you had a framework in your mind. You didn't do a good job explaining it to me. It wasn't clear at all, which was like capitalized by the opposition at a later point, right? Not having like a proper framework. Framework in the sense you you basically mentioned your motives. You all said that, you know, you all want to reduce the stress. You all want like children to play games and all that. Yes, that's a motive. But framework in the sense you all were supposed to tell me that how many hours they will be playing, what sort of games that they are going to choose, right? Um, and, and, and all that, right? It's basically like a way of doing that. And a framework wasn't necessary, uh, like because this, was, this house believes that uh, debate, but you all had the opportunity of mentioning something like that, like the number of hours and all that. So it would have been uh, much better. You all would have had the chance, okay, if you all went that way, right? So, you all missed uh, the point that you all could have got there. But then, uh, in Yevan's speech, uh, I had a good, I saw a good argument, right? So, there was, uh, you said that it's helpful in terms of like the disabilities uh, for children with disabilities and the children uh, for like in terms of education and creativity. So, I have awarded you two points for properly explaining uh, the, the children about disorders. But Yevan, your problem was that you, you went on a lot explaining the disorder factor and you didn't spend enough time explaining uh, the, how it helps with like creativity and education. You just went like, you know, scratch the surface rather than getting into like deeper facts, right? So you could have got, you, you would have gotten like four points for that if you explained uh, the creativity and additional uh, what do you call that uh, educational uh, this thing as well you did explain you your points were based on your points went with the disorder factor right so the, the which is why i have awarded you two points uh, instead of one right uh, for the what do you call that? Explaining how disorders work. And you mentioned there are games like uh, Tetris. You talked about uh, the deaf people, people who can't walk. So yeah, for that two points. Um, they, uh, after that, how it helps in terms of education and uh, creativity, you could have gone a little further. So for those two points, I'm going to avoid you half a point, a one point, right? So goes off with three, right? Anyways, uh, this is what I feel like for the opening government, Caden's speech, what he made, like his second speech, it, it should have gone first, as I explained before. Yevan's speech should have gone second. He, he had a lot of points, but those were like elaborations mostly, right? So you would have gotten uh, Caden to flag those arguments and make the foundation, and Yevan could have gone second. If, if, this, speech was, if this speech went second, you could have properly incorporated with your rebuttals and you would have done a better job, right? Then moving on to the opening opposition first speech, uh, Brian, he had, a, uh, he had a rebuttal regarding the disabilities. So, um, and he talked about uh, people who, um, who, who can't play games because if they have disabilities, if they can't play sports, they can't play video games as well. I talked about uh, which didn't sound like uh, a proper argument to me. Like, you know, it, it didn't carry much of weight. When you said like, if they have disabilities, they can't play video games as well. But like the whole point of a video game is that you don't need like the physical strength, right? Like, uh, and all that. But he incorporated something about blindness, how blindness and stuff can actually come from video games. So I have decided to avoid uh, Sorry, I have decided to award um, yeah, one point for that rebuttal. Then, uh, 
Kiran asked a POI about uh, violent videos. Ah, one more thing. Uh, Yevan did not take a POI, right? So he sort of missed a point there. Uh, so Kiran asked a POI and uh, our position leader took it. Uh, how the difference between violent video games and uh, violent video games and uh, educational video games, right? So for taking a POI that they should be awarded another point. Um, then for asking that POI, they should be awarded half a point. Aiden's point goes to this side, right? Okay. Uh, then <clears throat> they should have spoken a little more about uh, the health problems, right? Uh, the obesity and all that, it, uh, that's something they should have really elaborated on. Like, you know, Ryan actually could have spoken a lot more on that. He, he brought up that argument for that I am going to award him one point, but he really would have taken two points there uh, because he didn't elaborate that enough. And uh, they, they provided a solution. They provided a solution which uh, wasn't really clear, right? So they talked about reducing video games. Uh, so they really could have, Ryan could have really capitalized with the fact that the government didn't really have like a proper framework, but um, their counter framework was also equally not very clear. So I haven't awarded any points there. Uh, and of course the difference between um, sports and video games, uh, that point, of course, uh, again, Ryan, you just explained and you did you did elaborate that point, but that was after the seven minutes and 20 seconds. So I can't give you two points for that. I'm going to give you one point for that, right? So this is how it currently stands. Then moving on to uh, opening government second speech. Uh, the rebuttals, of course, uh, Kaden, uh, again, as I told you, like you should have gone first because um, your rebuttals wasn't strong. You did rebut, but your rebuttals wasn't strong. Yevan had the aggression uh, for rebuttals, but since he was going first, he wasn't rebutting anything. Literally, he was making the first speech in the uh, in this what do you call it, in the debate, right? So you, you uh, for the first rebuttal, you said that that you all brought up examples. That was your rebuttal. And you said like when when the op opposition asked about um, educational games and violent games you all said we gave you examples that's all you said you said that thrice we gave you examples we gave you examples we gave you examples that is not enough that you your rebuttal has to be a little more uh, what do you call that a little more established then uh, you talked about uh, adding video games into school syllabus you all said that we are adding video games to the school syllabus and that way, they, they won't be playing video games too much. Students won't be playing video games too much because when it's in, in school, that uh, it will be controlled. So that was a good rebuttal. And I decided to avoid award uh, two points for that. And uh, then, then you guys brought up this argument of uh, reduce of wastage and how children uh, damage accessories and all that, that wasn't a solid argument at all. And I felt like you guys missed an important argument as the opening government, you all should have talked uh, a lot about, uh, what do you call that? The, uh, what do you call, uh, you all should have explained a lot more about the discipline, right? The discipline of gamers and the controlled number of hours. Now, Caden briefly mentioned that in his rebuttal, but that should have been one of your main arguments that when in school, when you are playing through school, that is going to be, uh, what do you call, that is going to be controlled. And that's a rebuttal you guys missed. And uh, that argument should have further explained. It wasn't strong. So because of that, I haven't avoided, awarded you any points. Also, Caden also didn't take a POI for that. Uh, uh, you guys have been not penalized, but you all could have taken at least half a point if you all took a PO, at least one. 
right? So then moving on with the open opposition, uh, second speaker, Rafael. Uh, yeah, so now Rafael did, a, did something very smart that he, he attacked uh, that them not having a proper framework, right? Like in, in, in the sense, this his attack on the government, open government was more stronger than Ryan's attack, right? Ryan pointed out that they didn't have a framework, but he brought up a counter framework, which was equally not very clear. But Rafael clearly said, you did not specify what games they will be accepting. You did not specify what number of hours they will be playing. That was like a very uh, constant it was a very constant uh, and properly constructed version of a rebuttal. And it was good that Rafael actually mentioned that because if Rafael didn't, and if it was mentioned by Meteo or Sakib, that this point would have been stolen by the closing guard. But Rafael did mention that. So because of that, they should be awarded uh, two points for that. That was a good rebuttal. Then, uh, they mentioned the fact that people who uh, can't walk, they can actually play uh, chess and carom and all that. And he mentioned that cricket is also a physical sport that it requires uh, brain power uh, and all that. But in, in that cricket argument, uh, Rafael, you could have uh, drawn the connection. I understood what you were trying to say, but you didn't really draw the connection and say that you don't necessarily need like, I, I'm just going to spell it out what you should have said. You should have said, um, you know, uh, you don't need uh, video games to make sure that children properly think, strategize, because even physical sports require strategizing, like cricket. You didn't draw that connection, but um, you did mention that point, right? So for that, I'm going to give you one point instead of two and of course uh, you talked you talked about the fact that people who can't walk they also can play uh, games like chess and carom uh, for that also i'm going to uh, give you one right that that, uh, that rebuttal is good but it's not a major clash in the debate which is i'm not avoiding you avoiding you two points for that right so so one for there one for there which will bring in your total to eight uh, then Caden asked the POI uh, about being mentioned in the syllabus, right? Uh, that including that in the syllabus, sports being included in the syllabus, and why are they talking about uh, necessarily being a sport? And uh, opening opposition clearly mentioned that uh, the motion also includes the word legit sport which means that uh, it's going to be extracurricular activity. So that's an equally well asked POI as well as equally well answered POI, right? So I am going to award half a point for both teams for these guys who are asking that POI and uh, for them to properly negotiating that POI. So these are how currently scores stand, right? And then of course, most importantly, Rafael, you, you went into your uh, very important argument which is teamwork, right? Which is teamwork and uh, you, when you went into your argument, you were completely over, like, you know, the time was over and I couldn't take anything into uh, consideration, right? And uh, this was basically your second argument. This was clearly mentioned as your second argument. Give me that. Not clear. I don't know if it's my connection, but... Hello? Oh. So, you're not clear. Mama, class is in there. You're not clear, sir. Yeah, sir. You're not clear. So, clear for us. Is sir clear for you? No, for me it's not clear. Yeah. Yeah. Sir? Uh, sir, we can't hear you, sir. No, you're not clear. Sir, should I to leave and join, sir? Yeah, sir, you're not clear at all. Now, sir, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. 
Sir is here. Sir, where are you, sir? So don't leave me, sir. I don't be idea. Man, this is recorded and going to the internet also. Right. Hey, sorry, I received a phone call. Uh, right. So what was I saying? Sir, you started breaking up in uh, when you said that teamwork thing. All right. So that was supposed to be one of your main arguments, right? You were supposed to talk about that argument and the opposition actually, uh, Ryan actually came up with one argument and uh, the, the difference between these things. So uh, arguably you guys should have spoken a lot more about teamwork and you all practically missed it, right? And that is something uh, heavy. That was a heavy problem. Uh, you, right? Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, I uh, spoke about uh, teamwork, sir. No, yeah. you couldn't speak it properly. That's the problem. Oh, I, okay. I haven't uh, I jotted down anywhere because like teamwork came in Raphael's argument. And uh, that is something that you all should have spoken a little more, right? That is a big problem. Uh, in fact, uh, that, that is one of the major mistakes you all have, which I will have to, uh, I had to penalize you all for that, right? So I have reduced half a mark for that, for not speaking that. And that gave an opportunity for uh, the closing opposition, Sakib and Meteor, to actually talk about teamwork. And they could have stolen those marks, but let's go ahead and see whether they managed to do that. Then speaking of the next, part, closing government part. Uh, Double issue. Yeah, Dishnu, actually you did a great job, right? You started off like quite well. And you started off by rebutting the whole timeline uh, idea, right? You know, you, you just talked about uh, timeline, the number of hours. It, it's bad if you play for an like, ex excessive number of hours and the opposition not necessarily saying uh, like the number of hours, uh, the, the timeline argument, right? Then uh, this point was brought up by, uh, actually this was brought up by Caden initially. Caden did mention, this is one of the mistakes uh, Yevan made as I mentioned in the beginning, right? Uh, Yevan did not mention the framework, the number of hours that you are allowing. Then in Caden's speech, he briefly touched that and he didn't really properly fix that. And in the end, it was the closing government who mentioned that, you know, it is going to be a couple of, it's going to be two hours, three hours, something like that. So in a normal debate, in an Asian parliamentary debate, guys, for this, uh, you, you don't get avoid, awarded points, as you know, like your first speaker is supposed to clearly mention your framework, right? But in this, of course, since the closing government is a separate team, they are allowed to say that. So they said that and they basically stole a point off. So basically this point should have gone uh, to uh, the opening government, but the closing government practically stole it. Right, then... Uh, ah, one more point, there's another important point brought up by uh, Vishnu was that they are going to include gaming in schools, so rather than turning schools into a gaming center. So that was also a very strong point. Uh, another point that the opening government should have uh, talk, talked about and taken that point, but they also stalled that point because the opening government didn't talk about it. Then Raphael asked POI um, about the framework, right? Now, this is the, this is the thing. Raphael's POI was basically asked, like, it was based on the framework. He, he told, he told the, uh, he told Jishnu, he told the closing government guy that you all did not have a proper framework. Okay. So the thing is, you can ask that, but that is not going to get you points, Raphael. So you shouldn't have done that because the guy who's speaking right now is the closing government guy. And he has nothing to do with the framework because he didn't prep with the opening of the government, right? So because of that, that POI was technically a waste. When Jishnu allowed your POI, you could have asked something to attack 
the closing government itself what you attacked was the opening government and closing government has nothing to do with that right so the closing government can't be penalized for not having a framework and i have already penalized the opening government for not having a framework right so anyways uh, for asking the poi and for taking the poi i'm going to avoid half a point uh, for opening opposition and half a point for uh, the closing government then uh, by the way i asked the poi because the closing government was talking about it that's why i asked them yeah, right. talking that we didn't have a framework and all of that by our government had a framework and it was very strong and all of that right. yeah yeah I understand. but the thing is the framework part is it comes from the opening government right so they, they can't be penalized for that anyways uh, then uh, ryan also asked the poi uh, about decreasing the number of hours right and the control number of hours and the poi didn't really connect with the uh, the argument that was going at the moment so i i haven't given uh, any what do you call it, anything for that what? yeah but i have avoided half a point for asking that poi and half a point for accepting that poi uh so they should come down to 3 then uh then uh, the closing government talked about the control amount of hours which is again an emphasis on like the framework like you know they sort of like added to what was lacking in the government's framework and they talked about uh the impossibility to increase productivity right so they said like the, sorry sorry they said increase in productivity increase in productivity uh and creativity and they said it is impossible to take off uh what do you call that take off video games of today's life so rather than what you need to do is reducing the damage so a strong point so i have avoided two points for that then closing opposition moving on to mateo speech uh they came up with the rebuttal of misusing they said the government never accepted the fact of like never accepted address the idea of misusing so that was a good point so i have awarded two points for that then uh, they talked about educational games can tempt children to play other games so that was a good point but the, they didn't elaborate that enough right so could have explained a little more how when children play educational games that they eventually end up playing uh non educational games because they get used to playing video games they should have showed the connection a little more so only one point there then uh kaden asked the poi uh about what is the solution right they asked us for a solution and here's the thing so i'm going to avoid half a point for kaden to ask in that point so 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 and i'm going to avoid half a point for uh made you for taking that point then uh, <clears throat> the thing is made you started answering that poi by saying our first speaker mentioned this and that's a very dangerous thing to do because that is eventually like giving credit to your opening side and for that the others others may get the points that you were supposed to get right but uh, the poi was what you call the negotiated in a very neutral way so i end up not giving points to either sides it was a necessary a win for the government or the opposition and uh, then made you i asked i asked the bio i by say like uh, i said that uh, can you tell us a solution by saying that uh, in a exact sentence by not saying that your first speaker said this and that I asked in that way, but Matthew. Yeah, basically, what Matthew should have done was Matthew could have spoken and he could have given a solution straight away, as if he is saying something like that. And you shouldn't do what you normally do in Asian Parliament by referring to your first speaker all the time, because then you don't keep in mind that you all are not in the same team, right? Yeah, that's the complication we have. Yes, that's the complication. Yes, and. Uh, 
Mate, you, of course, you came up with uh, uh, an excellent point, which is like uh, the health risk part, and you talked about addiction, and then you went on to explaining that syndrome part. But un unfortunately, that syndrome part came after your time was concluded. Otherwise, they should have started speaking about health risk way earlier. You did receive some points for your rebuttals, but you spent too much time on those rebuttals because you sort of like forgot as the first speaker or for the closing opposition, you should have brought in a third argument as well. It came pretty late, the health risk argument. And only the addiction part was spoken about during uh, the legit time, right? So the syndrome part, too bad. I could have actually given you like three points for that argument, but uh, it came pretty late. So because of that, I have decided to give you uh, one and a half points for that which brings it all to five. Then, uh, closing government, second speech, Vishnu, uh, your point about fencing and how fencing is similar to, uh, um, similar to video games, you know, it's not practical use and all that, so that's a good point, but um, not necessarily a major point that others need to address, but so, you know, half a point for that. Then, sir, um, sir, yes. sir, one thing that came in my first speech, sir, with that uh, argument. Ah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So I have, I have mentioned that below. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. So yeah, anyway, uh, you mentioned that in the first speech. So half a point for that. Uh, then you started off by uh, mentioning, you started off by saying the timeline argument still stands. And uh, that point is important. That is something important to emphasize. So one point for that. Uh, then the, in school, you mentioned that in school, the authority is necessary. Uh, and that way that you have a better control and all that. Good point. So one point for that. Then you talked about win and winning and losing. Now, here's the thing, guys. Winning and losing means uh, it's a new point, right? It wasn't talked about uh, at all in the debate thus far. And this is a whip speech. So, Jishnu, if you mentioned this in the third speech, I could have given you points for that. Since this came in the VIP speech, I didn't uh, give you marks, right? It's not a bad point. It was a good point. It is actually a really good point, but it came pretty late. That is the issue. So, which is why I have only awarded you one point for that. Sorry, I haven't awarded you any points for that because uh, it, it, you should have mentioned that in the third speech. Then you talked about how reducing video games... Uh, the one of the flaws of the opposition that they talked about reducing video games how that is irrelevant to the motion right and i was waiting till someone talked about that because the opposition was supposed to talk about how including this in the government was sorry how including this in the school syllabus should be bad so the reducing part never really made sense the opposition basically opening opposition closing opposition both spoke about that but uh, no one really in the government, first three speeches didn't really show, tell me that this is not relevant to the motion. It wasn't relevant to the motion. It wasn't mentioned. It was firstly mentioned by you. So one point for that. Then, uh, uh, of course, clash points wasn't clear. Like right? the clash points weren't necessarily clear. And that's not necessarily because your fault, Jishnu, is because the, more, the debate didn't really go in a very clashing way, right? The arguably, this is what happens normally when we start debating after a while, the government goes some other way, opposition goes some other way, right? So clash points weren't clear, but you did identify the most important clash point, which is kind of the motion itself, whether this is physical activities and sports, whether they are like good or bad for the people. And you did, you did show me why uh, what you are saying should make sense to you. Uh, but however, you did spend not enough time on the class. I feel like you should have spent a little more time on that. Because of that, I'm not going to give you two points for that. Instead, I'm going to give you one and a half, which brings your total to 10. Okay. Then moving on to uh, the opposition or closing opposition whip. Uh, again, um, Sakib, you did have a lot of good points, but again, most of them came after the time was concluded. So I had to reduce those. 
uh, in terms of rebuttals, you talked about um, saving money, right? Now, this is something that I, I gave you uh, marks for. I credited you for that because this is something the opening government said. This is something Yevan said that this way that you can save up money. And three speeches in the opposition never mentioned any of that. And you brought up in your, uh, your speech. For that, I have avoided you one and a half points rather than one point, one and a half points, which brings it to six and a half. Then, uh, uh, what is this point? I, I talked about once they come home that, you know, they will be playing points, uh, you know, they will be playing more, more points. And that is something uh, that is something made you talked about before the addiction part, and there was a further elaboration of that point. Uh, so that was that was a further elaboration, and that extension gives you half a mark. So it comes down to seven. Uh, then what is this creativity? Right. Uh, then you talked about creativity again. Creativity is something that was flagged by Evan, but that wasn't really mentioned now initially I, I did ideally you deserve two points for this because this is something Evan mentioned and um, it wasn't rebutted all this time but Evan only mentioned that he didn't elaborate that on a point so you only get one point for that because it wasn't a major clash in the debate right then uh, Kaden asked the POI about uh, chess right about chess and carom and all that but once again that is something here's the thing now the, this was something mentioned by the second speaker of the opposition uh, which means the opening opposition someone in the opening opposition so closing opposition cannot be penalized for that so that poi uh, goes as a neutral poi i haven't avoided points for or against but for asking that poi i'm going to avoid half a point for the opening government and half a point for answering that for the closing government. Uh, what else? And then of course, um, you talked about how students can be violent, that video games can make children violent and aggressive, but Sakeb, this was the last speech of the debate, so I can't give you points for that, but this is, if this came in Meteor speech, that would have given you two points, like straight up two points. And uh, after that, you mentioned a lot uh, of your clash points. Now, the thing is, in your speech, you talked about uh, what do you call that? Ajishnu asked a POI. Ajishnu asked a POI uh, about uh, educational games and stats and all that. So, again, half a point for asking the POI and half a point for uh, uh, taking the POI. Then uh, it was it was neutralized. The POI was neutralized, uh, and the, the argument didn't clash properly. And then uh, the thing is, then you talked about the benefits. You talked about benefits being less and benefits being uh, the the damage being bigger, right? You talked about benefits being smaller and damages being bigger so because of that you saw you thought that the video, giving video games is bad now ideally Sakib, this has to be the clash point but you didn't really flag it as a clash point you just mentioned this as a normal point so instead of a whole point i'm going to give you half a point for that and uh, after that, you said that you are going to bring these points as clash points and you mentioned several things uh reducing money and uh, and all that uh yeah so you, you talked about how how this is not going to save any money but for that i've already given you a point uh, in your initial rebuttal so i'm not going to give you more points in that and uh, whatever the other point you mentioned came in the came after your time was over so no points for that as well so you can see, this is how the final marks stand. And uh, as you can see, this, this is like a very close debate. So I think you guys can be very happy because uh, it's like a very close debate, right? So closing government. 
Sir, he came second by two, no, point five. Yeah. If he got that, sir, why did you penalize us, sir? Sir, sir. wait, wait, sir, wait, wait, sir, wait. Seven plus ten. Sir, who is the best speakers? Government and opposition. Uh. One of the things, guys, in these debates, you don't necessarily pick a best. Sir, hmm? sir. and this is a certain sir who sir. wins. Sir, certain sir who wins the whole debate. There's no, there's no winner for the whole debate. Like you know, you get points for uh, what position you get, right? So the first team gets like uh, eight points in the points table. Second team gets six points in the points table. Third team gets four points and sorry two points and four points four points and the fourth team gets two points in the points table. In the final only whoever comes first will be the winner. Sir, uh, small question, sir. Uh, so, the motion motion passed or fallen? Like uh, according to the points. That you can't decide in you know, who the first is basically. Now you can see the closing government has come first. Opening government has gone last. So you can't really decide whether the motion passes or falls. But, no, but we can try this. We can actually add the points and see. Uh, so the government should have 17 and a half. Opposition should have 18 oh, and yeah, what? yeah, the opposition. So basically, yeah, let's go. GG. Yeah, motion falls. Sir. Yes. Sir, are you giving uh, the speakers? Uh, normally you don't give best speaker in British Parliament because it's it's kind of difficult. It's not like you have three speakers and the speakers have the liberty, right? Each speaker has a separate role to play. So, uh, basically the winner of the... Now, it's like this, guys. In Asian Parliament, a motion may actually fall. Maybe the opposition may win, but, the, but someone from the government could be the best speaker. Understand? But in this, it's very unlikely to happen because uh, now here Jishnu was the best speaker, which is why closing government has more marks. So arguably, uh, the whoever comes first, that means because they have the best speaker. You only have two speeches, right? So it's very limited the time you you actually have to uh, finish. So what I saw in this debate uh, is that the opening parts that you guys should have been a little more constructive and you all left too much to the last speakers. And uh, Sakib, I think uh, until like the last speech, I feel like uh, uh, Ryan and Raphael were in the second, second place. But Sakib did a good job because Sakib is a very experienced senior VIP speaker because he picked the VIP speech really well, which is why that you know he managed to get like half a point more than your team and managed to pick it.